Hi guys, um, I'm still a little bit sick so I stayed in today um, again and I figured that it might be fun to experiment with makeup since I really never do that um, and I've had the same makeup look since I was like 12 when I first started wearing makeup. So I figured that today I would try something a little bit more dramatic so even though this might not look dramatic this is like very dramatic for me and I probably wouldn't even go out um, looking like this because I just feel like it would make me stand out too much and attention from other people is not really something that I seek. So anyway, but it was a sort of a fun thing to do um, just on a day when I was staying in. Um, but first, before I did the makeup, I tried to do my hair. So I tried to curl it and this is the result. Um, I just have like super, super naturally straight hair and it's just like so fine and silky that it's just impossible to do anything with it. Um, so I have like really nice curls for about five minutes and then um, they sort of just like dropped and now it's like almost completely straight again, except for like a couple sort of waves that are left over. But anyway, um, so that was a fail, but it was fun while it lasted. Um, so the first thing I did for my face is I put on a Vino Baby sunscreen lotion. It was this. Um, and I like it because, first of all, it's sunscreen, and that's something that I really need because I just burn so easily. Um, my skin is very, very light. Um, and since this was, like, made for babies, it's really mild. Um, and mild is something that I need because my skin is really irritated by, um, a lot of different products. So, uh, I found this, and, like, it was really good for me. It, um... It just works really well. It doesn't make my skin oily or anything, and it sort of replaces a primer for me because it's just like, I don't know, makeup is just so easy to apply on top of it. Um, so that was the first thing I did, and then I used the Revlon Color Stay Under Eye Concealer in Fair. Come on. Um, this is the first tube or whatever of this under eye concealer that I've used and so far I think I like it. Um, it does a really good job of hiding the bags under my eyes which um, is really good so I think that I'll probably continue using it um, and it's really nice that it's so inexpensive. Like as you'll see all my makeup is drugstore makeup because I just find that it works for me. Um, it does you know what I want it to do. It serves its purpose. So um, for now it's just drugstore makeup for me, um, which I'm fine with. And then next I put on the CoverGirl, uh, Clean Oil Control, uh, foundation in Ivory. And I'm almost out, so I need to get another one. Um, and then I put on the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in Fair. Um, and then I used the CoverGirl Clean Sensitive Skin Pressed Powder. Um, so it's just that. And it is an ivory. I think it's the lightest color because um, I do have really pale skin. I usually um, go for the lightest color of base layer makeup, so like foundation and concealer and powders. Um, and then I used the CoverGirl Classic Color Blush in natural glow <laughs> not picking up that's okay um it's sort of like it's sort of a, I find that it's a cross between a bronzer and a blush it's not really pink like a blush but it's not really as brown as bronzer um did I say bronzer bronzer um so I just used it like where you can see the shadows. Um, and then I used the CoverGirl Instant Cheekbones Contouring Blush in Refined Rose. I used this uh, this middle color um, right above the um, first blush that I used. And then I used this lightest color um, right above that and then I just blended it all together. And it gave me this, like, nice glowy look that I like. Um, I really like glow, so it was nice for me. I liked it. Um, and that's sort of a blush look that I haven't done before, so. But I think that I'll continue doing it because I like it. Um, and then I used the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers Eyeshadow 
it's the coffee shop palette. I used this lightest color um, under my eyes for a little bit more glow. It's just sort of like a highlighter color, I guess. Um, and I don't know if you can actually tell that it's even there, but um, and then I used the Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour Eyeshadow in Barely Branded, which I just got the other day, and I really really like it. Um, it's just a little bit darker than my, well, it's a lot darker actually than my normal um, skin tone, but it's sort of like skin tone colored, uh, and I just find that like it makes my eyes look really good. So I put that on my lids, um, all the way up to my brow. Um, I don't know if you can tell because the lighting is so bad. Um, but anyway, so it's there. Um, and then I used the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers Palette in Mirror Mirror. I used this light gray color um, for my lids. And then I used the um, darker charcoal color for my creases. And then I used the sort of darkish emerald color as a liner for my upper lids um just like from the outside into my pupil and I also used it down on my lower lashes maybe like a third into my eye and then I used um uh the covergirl lash blast volume waterproof mascara in very black and this is the mascara that I really, really like. Uh, I've been using this for a few years, and I just really like it. And I actually, um, today I applied it in a new way. I used a technique that I learned yesterday from Goss Makeup Artist. And I'll um, put a link to his channel in the down bar. Um, but I, I got, like, the eyelash comb thing. And I used the comb to pick up the mascara from the brush, and then I used the comb to apply on the mascara to my eyes and I just found that um, it worked really really well it sort of um, kept me from getting any clumps of mascara and it was a lot easier to apply it that way too I didn't get any um, mascara all over my face like I usually do so that's a technique that I'll um, continue to use definitely um, I just find that like it makes my um, eyelashes look more sort of feathery and soft um, so that's really good um, and then I used the CoverGirl Eye Enhancers eyeshadow the Shirley Nudes palette. I used this um, darkest color um, for my brows because I don't have anything specifically for my brows like any pencils or anything. Um, and when I did that I realized how asymmetrical my brows are. <laughs> um, so I think that I'm going to see if I can get them like shaped so that they look more symmetrical or something, but that's not, definitely not something I'm going to try to attempt on my own. Um, I'm going to let a professional do that. And then the very last thing that I did is I applied this CoverGirl lipstick in Darling. And it is a pretty bright lipstick, at least I find it pretty bright. But anyways, that's uh, how I did my makeup today, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, and... Yes, comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye, guys.